Welcome back, my know me people, my know me friends. It's me, Orbital Potato. It's Little Big Workshop. That's right. That's right. We're back. We're back in business. At the end of the last episode, uh, we we cleared off a, a pretty big order for uh, portable fireplaces. It was Crazy Steve's special contract. We hit level five of Crazy Steve. We delivered on the contract. Bada bim, bada boom. That was the third episode. This is the fourth episode. We're going to we're going to higher and higher heights in uh, in this here episode, right? So uh, at the at the end of the last episode, we uh, we just hit the silver milestone. We just hit the silver milestone uh, goal. We just completed it. That's great. Happy days. We got six R and D points. I think we might have also leveled up. Anyway, we've got ten R and D points now, uh, which means that we can prioritize our factory for mass production, or we can prioritize it for premium. Resources. I think we want to prioritize it for mass production. I think that operator and hauler salaries decreased by 35% and recruitment costs decreased by 50% is is great. Uh, after that, I think I'd like to get... Oh... What do I want to get? I mean, super haulers is nice. I tell you what, I love... I love the... Where is it? The assembly... The assembly, advanced assembler. Yeah, the advanced assembler is really, really good. But I'm going to go for that in the first instance. 100% for basic, 50% for medium, 25% for advanced. Market expansion. You know what? Maybe taking market expansion wouldn't be the craziest thing in the world. Reduce comfort penalty on all workstations by 25%. Uh, let's hold off on doing any more of that tech tree for now. Let's see what else we can get over here. We can raise the employee cap. That's definitely something that we're going to need to do. It's just whether we want to do it and need to do it right now. Uh, getting plastic production as well is not really that important in terms of giving us a whole bunch of new machinery. But it will uh, it will allow us to build, unlock plastic production, unlock plastic production 1 in, in R&D. Uh, that requires plastic production as well. That requires plastic production as well. Pretty much everything here requires plastic production. Uh, so we're probably going to do that. Also, the, the cat mech. Yes, please sign me up. I have absolutely no idea what this is, but we're, we're going to do it. Uh, also, we're going to need to get a robot building room, but I kind of want to wait. I kind of want to wait to build a robot building room until we have, uh, until we have the advanced assembler. So that's what I'm, that's what I'm kind of going to go for. Okay, let's get that. Plastic production, that's great. Uh, that will unlock a bunch of stuff. It unlocks a robot testing station and unlocks a foam injection machine. And I'm about to unlock, the uh, unlock a brand new contractor. Ah, fantastic. Inco Inc. It is, it is you. And you. Great. One more? One more? Mitsurula? What do we need to do in order to get this? Complete the bronze mouse production 3. Metal production 3 for Mitsurula. Okay, cool. Well, we can get um, we can get a, a a robot production area right now, but I don't I don't really want to. I want to kind of hold off on that for uh, for the foreseeable future until, as I say, I get that advanced assembler, which means I need a few more a few more points. Uh, let's save my points for now, and let's see if we can get some more employees. Oh, in fact, I can't get more employees because I need to get the the worker cap increased. Okay. Uh, let's wait until we get the worker cap increased, I guess. That's, that's gotta be the next course of action. Everything at the moment is trundling along quite nicely, to be honest. Let's get that increased in size, just a little bit. Cool. And let's get all of these fireplaces shipped away. Portable fireplaces. We still have a couple of workstations that are free, which tells me that we just... You know, we lack people, we lack employees, rather than, uh, rather than having too many of them at the moment. Uh, we just started to see a little flash of people becoming available. So we're going to need to pick up another couple of, another couple of contracts. Another couple of contracts for our, for our good, merry workers to complete. Okay, let's get these delivered. Let's make a boss armchair. Sure, I've, I don't think I've ever made a boss armchair before. That's quite exciting, isn't it? Right, foam injection. We're going to need foam injection across the board. That's good. That gives us an opportunity to uh, to get foam injection. Uh, yep. 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 And... Yep. And... Yep. What is that? What is that going to give me? That's, that's actually not... That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad at all. Okay, let's bump that up to like 20 or something. What's the number that I... That the market can support? Can actually support more than that. Let's go to 25 live dangerously. It doesn't actually look like this is a particularly difficult contract to do. 
Uh, I mean, because I've got loads of sewing stations. It's just the foam injection that I need to sort. There we go. Perfect. Foam injection. Let's uh, let's get that sorted. Let's get it sorted right over here. And let's get this moved. There we go. And we'll get one more foam injection machine if possible, please. And then we will get a corresponding billboard. And that billboard is going to go uh, in a really inconvenient place. For sure. Uh, I guess we can stick it over over there. I guess there's no reason to have it in the same room. Sure. Let's, let's make that happen. Let's make that happen. Uh, that needs to be linked to that billboard. And that billboard needs to be linked to that, that, and that. Perfect. Now we should be able to make this boss armchair. I don't know if it's particularly boss, but it seems it seems pretty good. Let's do that. 4,000 4, in materials. That's quite a lot. Let's get it ordered. Let's get it done. All right, this room is 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 giving me bad vibes. So let's put another statue in there. Perfect. Great. Get the statue down, and that should that should mean that everyone's happy, right? Perfect. Absolutely, everyone is happy. Uh, I reckon the boss armchair is going to be one of the quickest things to, to get done, in all honesty. I don't think it's going to take us very long at all, which is very, very nice. I also want to pick up a couple of... Hold up, what? Is that still negative? No, that's still... It, it will be positive as soon as the... As soon as the statue is delivered. There we go. Get that uh, established. Fantastic. Okay, let's extend that out again. Cool. All right. Happy days. Yeah. So bar stools coming along nicely. That's great. Uh, we're just after a couple more employees. I also want to see how am I doing in client relation terms? Not bad. I mean, bros and biceps and swikea both need a little bit of love, a little bit of attention. I don't think that I can unfortunately make the standard bicycle. That's that's a real bummer. I mean, I can try, but it's a little bit complex for me right now. Especially given that we've got sewing stations occupied by uh, by a few bits and bobs already. Okay. Yeah, so. Okay, molding. Lots of molding. We do actually have the ability to mold a whole bunch of stuff. Right, just cheap metals, please. Just the cheapest of the cheap. There we go. I mean, if I could do this, if I could deliver it. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. That would be great. Um, let's manufacture this. Sure. Manufacture this over here. Oh my goodness. What an ugly, 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 ugly bike. Apparently, I'm making it all red and yellow. We need a metal bending workstation. Cool. Metal bender. Uh, yep, let's get that down there, and let's get a billboard right next door. Grand, get that ordered. Enter the planning mode again. Metal bender. Oh, we can't equip that to the billboard quite yet, but we will soon. Right. Lots and lots of mold. Not, not actual mold. Pretend mold. That goes there. Foam injection. Yeah, foam injection is the only thing that's going to take a while, and that's because we've already got a significant amount of junk already in that queue. All right, welding. Man, I am loving this factory. You know, I am so surprised at how this how this factory differs from the last one. Like the character I feel is uh is totally different. It's totally totally different. Okay. Metal bending, grand, and that there. Okay. Right. We need to get the assembly room moved around a little bit. The assembly room is is lacking right now. Yeah. Also we need to... Oh, get an arcade machine. We can get an arcade machine in here. Perfect. Get that ordered. Arcade machines, absolutely OP. OP is all heck. I absolutely love them. Okay. That in there. Perfect. Uh, let's get this moved up here. That moved up there. Grand. And let's get some storage solutions over in the corner here. Right. Get that repaired. Turn that off. And let's get a similar sort of setup 
over here as we've got in that room over there and that room over there. Wonderful. Okay, this is not this is not this is not working. As I as I wanted to. Okay, I, I guess. Oh, there's a. Okay, sure. There we go. All right, finally. Great, get that ordered and that uh, increased in size. This can supply. This can supply. You, you, and you, and you. Great. Huh. All right, these billboards aren't actually doing anything at the moment, probably because they were assigned to these machines and I've moved these machines out of there. All right, that doesn't matter. That's okay. We'll deal with that later. Right, I'm hoping that this bar stool levels me up with the uh, with the Swikea folks. If that does indeed happen, then that would be that would be real nice. I'd absolutely adore that because that would allow me to get more employees, and more employees really is what I'm after right now above all else. I should have perhaps ordered that as a priority. But that's okay. The bicycle, we're making good progress on the bicycle. But that is a little bit of a misconception because we haven't had the opportunity to start yet getting through all of the little irritating things. Like, oh no, maybe we have actually. Well, the rubber wheels are going to take a while. Uh, what about the sewing station? How's the sewing station doing? Standard bike seat? Actually, we're not doing, we're not doing too badly on that whole front. I'm very excited about the boss armchair, though. I've legitimately never, ever made the boss armchair. Okay, also, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a... I'm going to put a storage section right over here. Yeah, increase that by just one. Cool, so then you can go and drop it right over there. Perfect. All right, this is, this is, looking, this is looking a heck of a lot better. Heck of a lot faster. I'll tell you what, we could definitely do with moving this... So as not to impede the flow of traffic. Oh, I don't wanna I don't wanna move it out of the room though. That that seems a bit dodgy. Move it into the corner there, sure. Yeah, go do that. Nice. I mean it is only seven standard bicycles, and it'll at least uh, it'll get us on the on the sort of map with uh with, with bros and biceps. Yeah. Okay, another bar stool. I'm very interested. Very, very interested. I'm also super interested in this cat mech. I am interested in this cat mech. Very, very much so. But I'm not gonna do that quite yet, because it's a bit dangerous. Ah, Tweaker Brewery. No matter, I'll put them into shape in no time. Fantastic. Where are we? Where are we in terms of in terms of everything? Well, net worth, we are tenth. Revenue, we are ninth. We are third in profit per hour. Wowzers. Don't mind me. Don't mind me, Dracula. I'm just, uh, I'm just coming up the rear. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. No issues whatsoever. Uh, apart from the number of employees that we have. That's, that's definitely a, a pretty big issue right now. Well, it's, I, to be honest, it's not even a big issue. It's just an issue that needs to be fixed. Yeah. Alright, we got a couple of people that are free at the moment. Now, is that due to the fact that we're waiting on a few... Storage things to get done. I tell you what, armrest can go to the back of the queue for now. And once we're done with the armrest manufacturing, let's uh, let's do the standard bike seats. Yeah, just sort of get that done and dusted. Given that that is a time-sensitive contract, might as well take the opportunity to get that all that all sewn up. Uh, Footrest, standard wheel assembly, bar stool. I mean, the f this is a frame for the chair. That can go to the bottom. That can go to the bottom. And then let's just go through the, the bike assembly process. Yeah, I think that's probably for the best. Yeah, manufacture a couple more bits and bobs for the armchairs. And then let's entirely focus on the armchair for now. Uh, yep, we looked at the new challenges. What's the price of the boss armchair doing? Uh, it's sort of fluctuating, to be honest. But definitely 25 seems to be a pretty darn good number. Once we get this bar stool out of the workshop. I'm very much hopeful, as I've already said, that we managed to get a increase in our client relation level with with Swikea. There we go. These bar stools, by the way, are absolutely minuscule. Look at the size of them. The size of a boss armchair is, is huge, but a bar stool is tiny. Ridiculous. 
Absolutely ridiculous. Okay, Swikea, level up. Fish Bash Bosh. That should give us a R&D point, right? Fantastic. It does. It's tempting to take one of these things, but I'm not I'm not going to. We're going to need to get the uh yeah, the number of employees. Okay, so let's take on another what? Six workers. I think another six workers seems entirely reasonable. There we go. We'll um In fact, to be honest, I was waiting to say we'll expand our break room area in a bit, but I don't think that we need to. I think our break room area is is totally fine. Uh what am I doing? Repairing you. Yep. Perfect. Very, very nice indeed. Yeah, so the, the bicycle is getting done as a priority right now. All of the wheels are being assembled, then all of the chains are being assembled, and then the bicycle is going to be assembled step one, and the paddle assembly. Alright, we've got 15 people that are free at the moment, and all of the assembly that's remaining is boss armchair stuff. Mold infection again. All right, don't mind if I do. I'll, I'll take that any day of the week, to be honest. A video game? I mean, we could do a video game. In fact, a video game would be a great pastime whilst we wait for... Whilst we wait for all of the other junk to be done. It gives us something to do with our injection presses. There we go. And assembly. Yep, fantastic. How many can the market support? About 30, 33. I mean, it'll be more than 33 next turn, but... Uh, in fact, 40. Let's make, like, 40. Cool. Let's do it. Man, the profit on this is going to be rad, my dude. All right, let's make 50. All right, mold. Mold in the... Mold in the export area is particularly difficult to get rid of, so I'm going to put this down in this room first. Get that dealt with. Mold over here. Oh, come on. Don't do this to me. There we go. We got a space for it. Lovely. What's up? No storage space available? Um... There should be. I'll drag out a new temporary storage area for, for video game stuff. Although I think that there should be enough space. Okay. Move you over here now. Grand. Grand. Get that sorted. Wonderful. Okay, what's going on? Your trucker is stressed? That's not a problem. And the last one is over in this little room. I'm going to need to delete that zone content. Yep. So that we can clear that up. And uh, so that I have enough space to put down... To put down a mold machine. There we go. Expand that out. All right, can I move it across now? Nope, unfortunately, it is still irritatingly obstructed. And the mold is continuing to grow. Right, now we can put it down. There we go. Get that get that done pronto, please, people. We're still running out of storage space. Okay, let's decrease the size of the export area. And increase the size of the sort of just general storage area. Cool. There we go. And that's 5,500 bucks. Don't mind me. Just making making some big money. I tell you what. One of the reasons to get these boss armchairs moved out of here as quickly as we possibly can. Is that the component parts are taking up a ridiculous amount of storage. I mean this is absolutely obscene. This is quite crazy. Yeah. This this is absolutely ridiculous. This is absolutely ridiculous. Okay, are we almost done with the bicycles? Oh, we're almost we're almost done with the bicycles. We're so very, very close to getting the, the bicycles all done. The problem is that when the factory is super full with a bunch of stuff, everything sort of slows down because rather than stuff being stored in the place where it needs to be stored... It ends up being carted from halfway across the factory. For example, we're drawing some bike parts from over here. Moving them to the assembly station, then moving them back all the way over there. That's kind of ridiculous, you know? We're out of storage space for the the cube. The, the, the game, the video game cube things. Which absolutely does not look like a Nintendo GameCube. Not in any way. To suggest as such would be would be fraud. Okay. 
Video game. We got one video game that we can sell off. Boss armchairs. Boss armchairs. Now's a good time to sell. Now's a great time to sell boss armchairs, in fact. Oh my goodness. Right. Once the bikes are done, that's quite nice. The bike, the bike parts, actually, to their credit, don't really take up that much storage. It's the it's the boss armchairs which take up all of the storage. Irritatingly. Uh, but that's okay. Standard bicycle, fantastic. Bros and biceps, that's half a, half a level with you guys. Lovely. I'm honestly surprised that we were able to accomplish that. I'm not doubting the, uh, the skill and experience of my wonderful employees. There we go. Now we're going to be fine for storage. Yeah, we should be totally, totally grand. Once the boss armchairs start to be moved into the export zone, we'll be, we'll be fine. Uh, yeah, not doubting the expedience of my workers, but I didn't think that the factory was developed enough to, to get a bike done. But apparently it totally is. I do feel like this factory is already feeling better than... It's already feeling better than the last one. It's feeling much more, much more planned, much more reasoned, much more... You know, much, just much more fluid. Okay. Let's make some pitchforks. Sure. Oh, perfect. This is exactly the sort of, this is exactly the sort of thing that I want to make. So, it involves a whole bunch of woodcutting. It involves especially a whole bunch of lathing. And it involves a whole lot of molding. I mean, that is, that is just the greatest. Let's make as many of these things as we possibly can. What am I even making? Pitchforks? I don't even know if this is going to be... This is going to be super profitable. I mean, it will be profitable, technically. But let's absolutely get that started. It gives, you know, it gives my workers something to do as well. I tell you what's a bit of a problem. We don't have the storage space. Not even close to having the storage space. I tell you what, let's, uh, let's, 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 let's. Let's expand. This is a good time to expand. I do hilariously, hilariously enjoy. That's 8x8. Eight eight. Okay, 8x8 eight eight up this way. I really enjoy how most of the time I feel like I'm I'm pretty much just building storage rooms and a lot of the a lot of the time I have to just build a brand new big room so that we can have more storage space okay but I mean that's a small price to pay right a small price to pay for being so successful I tell you what let's also Let's expand this plastic room here, right? Let's expand that plastic room. Let's... Have I messed that up? Have I doofed that up? I have doofed that up. Okay. Cool. Get that down. Sorted. Lovely. Wonderful. Wonderful, 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 wonderful. And that will just allow us to get... Uh, well, pretty much a, not a matching setup with here, but certainly closer to, to what we're looking for. We're going to need to get some more plastic injection molds. Just because it's nice to have three plastic injection and three foam injection. Got an idea for a new summer product. I mean, I, look, I, I don't think I can do these hot take contracts. I just don't think that I have the right kit for it. I mean, usually I would like to get the, um, the delay... The, uh, the, 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 have my associates disrupt, disrupt the enemy trucks. I say enemy trucks. My supplier's trucks, or my customer's trucks. Usually. But, uh, but I don't, I don't have that unlocked quite yet, so I'm, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna attempt this super speedy contract. Also, look at this. We're 50% of the way through this pitchfork contract already. How ridiculous is that? That is absolutely bananas. It also says to me, hey, potato, you need more... You'd more assembly space. And in fact, you know what? We should probably get that set up. Let's get... Let's get... What is what, what is the, the layout of this? This is a 6x5x15. By by Six point five by 15 So that's a brand new area of exactly that size. I think that we want to get two of these... We want to get two of these sort of side by side. Can I buy a plot? Whoops. Can I buy a plot? Because I did want the delivery bays to go over here. Mm, I can't buy both of these plots. That's just a little bit ludicrous. Um, 
Okay, you know what? You know what we're going to do? Let's plan for the future. Let's plan for the future. I want delivery bays to go right here, and I would ideally like to have assembly zones like down either side. Or, alternatively, I could get delivery bays down the side and assembly zones in the center. In fact, that's what we're going to do. That is absolutely what we're going to do. Okay. Let me get this moved. Let me get this moved. There we go. Fast forward. Stick a door down right over here. Wonderful. Okay. And then we're going to move all of our assembly production down to here. Cool. I mean, it does sort of mean longer commutes, but I want to I want to start using the space that we have and the space that we will have. That's all really quite important in the grand scheme of things. Okay, how many video games do I have to assemble? Absolutely all of them is the answer to that question. But I should now start managing to assemble some of them. We've got 15 employees free. That's that's ludicrous. That's absolutely ludicrous. Uh, Dalla horses, scarecrows, no, I want something basic, you know? I want something basic that I can, that I can just build. Maybe, maybe this, a Barbara doll. Sure. Nice. Cool hair, my dude. Okay, I mean, that looks, that looks not too bad. And once again, biomaterials coming in, coming in trumps here doing genuinely amazing work. Uh, yep, set that up over there. Cool. How many can the market support? 58. I mean, 50 seems pretty reasonable. We need to obviously, I say obviously, we need to start moving to manufacturing in larger quantities because that is where, that is where the big money is. However, large quantity, large quantity products come with a higher risk if you don't complete something before it disappears from the market then you will have uh, you will have issues right this is a higher priority higher priority storage area so ideally we'll get all of the junk moved from out of here there we go fantastic if i do say so myself fantastic job there fantastic job there me you really came through Okay, I can get moved over there. Let's get a another shelf over here. Perfect. And that can go just like so right over there. Wonderful. All right, boss armchairs pretty much ready to go. We've got two more to assemble. And then we are on to full-time video game console manufacturing. Great stuff. Okay, how much is this going to net me? 29 grand. Don't mind if I do. I mean, it did take me a little while to get there. It took us a while to assemble them, but uh, but we did it. We we darn well did it. Okay. So the next the next stage is going to be planning out this room. Right. That's irritating. That's irritating in the extreme. Okay. How many how many assembly desks can I fit down here? Four. I mean, that's not too bad, honestly. Three over there. And then, what, two shelves? Two shelves? I mean, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. To be honest, that's not, that's not a bad layout, actually. That's not a bad layout. So if I was to do something like that, yeah, I'm still not able to get another assembly machine in here. No, that's actually okay, because that means that I can just put decorations and stuff in the corner. Yeah, if I was to do that, I mean, 20, 21,000 credits. That would actually be not too shabby. Right, fast forward. Let's get, the, let's get these boss armchairs out of here. There we go. Net me a whole a whole lot of money, and then let's get these let's get these assembly machines ordered. Let's get this all done. Wonderful! That's a lot of a lot of stuff for people to be getting on with. Goodness me! Look at the number of video game consoles that we've got. The price, thankfully, of video game consoles is is going up dramatically, which is great news. Very very helpful. Okay. The gamepad 
as well we need to manufacture. Fine. If I get all of this stuff done... If I get all of this stuff done... Yep, then that means that I can hopefully transfer some of the production. Okay, so can I set it up so that multiple... Can I set it up so that multiple zones supply a single... A single billboard? I'm pretty sure that I've tested this already, but... I'll give it a shot again. I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure only one single billboard can supply... Ah, oh, that's irritating, actually. That would be great if that would not be the case. Okay. I'm gonna... This is an experiment, okay? We're gonna see how this how this works out. I'm super unconvinced that this will be a good solution in the long term. But we'll see, we'll see if it works. I'm gonna get it set up like this so that they're sort of alternating... Alternating benches. Again, not not a huge fan of it. Um, there we go. We're going to have little zones at the end over here. Yeah, not a huge fan of this setup. I mean, this is... I'm almost convinced that this is going to change. However, it is, it is what we've got for now. So, let's deal with it. Okay. Let's move as much junk over to this billboard here as we possibly can. You know what I'm... What am I doing? Ditch this billboard. Sell this billboard. In fact, you know what? Don't, don't sell it. Just disassemble it. Disassemble it. And instead, equip all of these assembly stations to that billboard. And set this area to supply that billboard. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty much. That will that will be a pretty substantial moving operation that we're going to have to undergo. But it'll absolutely be worth it. I hope. Alright. Now the proof is going to be in the pudding. Is this going to work? I honestly have absolutely no idea. Here's here's hoping. Tell you what though, this is a this is a serious this is a serious area of operation now. It looks good. It looks, it looks, it looks better. Is there any chance that I can put a door in here by any chance? No, didn't, didn't think so. That's all right. That's cool. Yeah, we might need to double this room up and make it into a huge room. I know so far I've avoided making huge rooms, but, uh, but it would allow me to get even more assembly stations. And I think, I think that's really what we need. Okay, you are going to be disassembled after we are after we are finished. Yeah, I don't I don't like this setup. I don't like this setup at all. I don't like this setup at all. What I think what I think I'd rather do is sort of just double this double this room up, really. Uh double this room up. You know, I'll just I'll absorb the penalty of a huge room. Absorb the penalty of a, hu a huge room. Bulldoze this wall. It will become a huge room. I know it's gonna it's gonna be irritating, but it will be worth it. It will be worth it because it'll allow me to do so much more with the space. There we go. And just wait for the huge room penalty. Oh, in fact, the huge room penalty has already kicked in, but we still are we still are managing to get by. Okay, are we are we almost ready to start to start assembling yet, or is this just gonna take a ridiculously long amount of time? Right, get these get these assembly stations moved down to the brethren. The brethren, the friends. The friendly assembly stations. Friendly assembly. It, it rhymes for a purpose. Okay. Gamepad. Sure. I that is that is temporary. Very, very temporary setup over there. Okay. I know we are undergoing some pretty major changes. But it'll be worth it. It'll absolutely be worth it. Okay, that needs repairing too. Okay. Uh, now, now we probably want to think about reorganizing this area so that it ends up looking not like garbage and working like garbage. Hmm. What's the best way to do that? 
Great question. I think the best way to do it, honestly, is... Right. Move you over here. Move you over here. I'm conscious that... I mean, even though it doesn't look like we're working on a... On a clock, we are technically working on a clock. Because we are running out of money, and we're running out of money faster than we've ever run out of money before. That's just a factor of being this far in the game. The stakes are higher, you know? Okay. So, now I think that we can take this opportunity to... Yeah, do that. Yeah, that'd be good. And... Fast forward. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Fast forward. Quick, quick, quick. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Let's go, 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 go. Get this, get this stuff moved. All right, we're finally starting to make consoles. Great. Okay, cool. So now, we should be able to do something like that. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. That's good. And I think this is probably just about the space that we're that we're after here. Maybe back by one. So that we've got three rows of free space. Right over there. Is that lined up? Uh it's not lined up over over with those guys. Uh yeah, okay. Fine. We'll just do this for now. Get that sorted out. Cool. And let's get this turned around. I mean, it's going to look a little bit funky, but I actually kind of have started to realize that I need to stop mucking around and just just get just get these couple of contracts done. There we go. All right, you know what? Even if it looks highly funky, it's still it's still worky. That's right. Yeah. I don't like this setup because also we can move the can move the billboard right over here now. I don't like this setup because we've got three desks that are sort of back that are backing onto the assembly the assembly storage area. Which is a bit inefficient. It means that people have to walk all the way around to get to to get to where they need to be. I don't know if I have a workaround to that. Let me see if I can ship off some of these some of these consoles. Fantastic! Next level! Great! Uh, I'm gonna hold off on discussing what I want to do there for now, because I want to... want to get some zones set up properly. There we go. This needs to be tightened up. This needs to be moved. There we go. And that needs to be moved to... Sure. All right, and that is pretty much the definitive, the definitive layout for now, at least. Yeah, this will become slightly easier once we get advanced assemblers, but that's not going to be for a little while yet. Okay, also, here we go. Yeah, so let's just get all of these, all of these things sorted before the price. Well, I guess technically the price increases, so I've got nothing to worry about there. Okay, that supplies that billboard and that supplies that. What needs to be done with these pitchforks? Do they just need to be assembled? They just need to be assembled. Why are we not assembling... Why are we not assembling... Why are we not moving all of the materials that need to be assembled over to where they need to be dealt with? I don't actually know. Where are all the pitchforks? Are they all already on the shelves? Oh, they're all already, they're all, uh, already on the shelves. Well, wonderful. Okay, I mean this is this is this is fine. This is good. I guess I'm happy with this. There is, I mean, I don't want to say significant throughput issues, but there are issues that we are having with regards to how far the haulers need to run. So let's get those delivered. Let's in fact see if we can take on a couple more haulers. One, two, three, four. Take on four more haulers. Yeah, I think that we can just about support four more haulers. Yeah, that's fine. Pitchforks, pitchforks. The price is, is 
price is very right, actually. I'll take that any day of the week. All right, and we can start thinking about another contract. Yeah. Okay. I I think I think I am I am happy with this. I am happy with this. This is this is a this is a setup that I can that I can learn to live with. Maybe we just in, enclose this area. You know what? Yeah. Let's do that. Let's enclose this area. Let's disassemble disassemble these two. Yeah. Sort of get that moved into there. That will probably create a little bit of a. No. Oh. No, apparently people can still access through there. Alright, it was a way to say I'm going to need to get another door. But that's not going to be too much of a problem, apparently. Alright, yeah, I do want to... I do want to just sort of clear this backlog before I go on to make anything else. For the simple reason, I need to disassemble these two desks. Right, 50... 50 of those. Let's get that all shipped up. Uh, I don't have I don't have enough market capacity left to deal with the remaining few which is fine okay good 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 let's get the last few dolls assembled yeah nice okay and then we can ship off 50 of these fantastic 15 grand don't mind if I do don't mind if I do. I just got the achievement. Massive order. Deliver more than 50 products to the market. All right. Great. Uh, I think I still need to get the one that is... I think I still need to get the one that is more than 100 products to the market. Mm, completed. No. No, I don't need to. Apparently that's, uh, apparently, that's all I need to do in order to get the... In order to get the, the specifications. In order to get the specifications for the requirement. The specifications for the requirement? The the achievement. Remember the gnomes that you used to sell? You've got something even better. But the time frame is 24 hours and that uh, that perturbs me. Right. Let's not worry about the, the order that good old crazy Steve has offered us. He is crazy. So that's something to consider. Right. Okay, that's that's pretty pretty decent. Ent, I guess. Okay. Did I not uh, select all those straight cuts? Sure. And there, grand. We're gonna need to get some brand new special equipment. That's totally fine. Assembly. Yep. Gonna be equipped to here. And. We're going to need to get a plasma cutter or a metal working station. Well, we're absolutely going to get a plasma cutter. I mean, why wouldn't we get that ordered? Let's not worry about the um, the billboard for that plasma cutter right now. It's, not, it's very rare, to be honest, that we actually need a plasma cutter or something akin to a plasma cutter. Also, let's take on a brand new contract. Skis. Let's take on the ski contract. Sure. Welding station. Grand. Get that done. That done, that done, that done. Great, don't batch produce. Great, sorted, great. Okay, so that's eight assembly stations that are ready to jump into action at any at any moment to assemble what needs to be assembled. Let's move this up a little bit there. And let's move this bros and biceps trophy right over yonder. Perfect. Okay, it is a huge room. There are occasionally some problems with it, but that should be totally fine. Okay, pitchforks, we're waiting to ship away. Skis, we're ready to ready to go with skis. Uh, I can take that in just one more. Yep. Move that across there. Move that across there. Okay, this is probably the best assembly room that I've that I've thus far made. Uh, we do need to buy the plot next door. In fact, we need to buy both of these plots in order to get in order to get export zones on either side of this of this building. I guess this would probably be a better plot to start with. Yeah, but we don't have we don't have the tech to get an export plot right now. An export bay even. Okay, let's um let's let's see what let's see what the missions are for skis. Yeah, we've got loads of people that are free. Let's take on a challenge.
Let's take on a challenge. Let's take on a real challenge. Give me a, an office table. Sure. Plasma cutter. It's grand. This table is a little bit over strong. A little bit over strong. Sure, scale that down a little bit. Mold. Sure. That. Is this that does that keep costs down? Looks like we're adhering to our targets slightly more closely. Uh, metal bending. Yep. Grand. Do that. And let's batch that just to be on the safe side. Just to be on the safe side. All right. Good. So that's going to be lots and lots of jobs for lots and lots of people. I don't think that anyone should be left without a job after, after that point. That's the hope anyway. All right. Nice. And that might give us an upgrade with uh, with Swaikia. I keep on forgetting that I haven't actually met Swaikia's level 5 requirements. So we're certainly heading to it. It's just going to take a, a little bit of time. I want to get this room better kitted out, actually. Let's see if we can do just that. Have I got a large shelf somewhere? I do indeed. Right. Stick down a large shelf right over there. Nice. Get that sorted out. And that will allow us to move yet more wood into this area. Alright, that's looking very, very nice. Uh, let's get these machines moved across here. Let's move that over there on a temporary basis. Nice. Man, we still have, we still have people that need work. Okay. Get that moved over there. Actually, hold up. I shouldn't have done that. I should have moved... Mold infection? Another mold infection? Right. Let me... Move this over here just a little bit. Because I think that we can increase the number of circular saws that we have operating in this room for sure. Okay. Pitchforks I still can't get rid of. Man, we have... Okay, just give me give me something plasticky. Give me something plasticky that requires plastic to manufacture. More video game consoles? I guess so, right? 50 seems like a bit of overkill. Let's take it down to 25. Batch produce? Uh, no. Yes. No, don't batch produce. Otherwise, we're going to have to refit the machines, and I, I don't really want to deal with that. Okay. Right, move that across. Great. So, we've got more circular saws that we can fit out over there now. Right over here, right where they used to be until we moved them across. But it just means that these two circular saws right here should uh, should work slightly better because of the access to the, to the wood pile. Cool. Right. Where else is this mold? Oh, yikes. Yikes, yikes, yikes. How do I even fix this mess? Okay. It's probably a, a good opportunity to move this junk that we've just got sitting around over here. I say this junk. It's, it's actually quite important to the function of the factory. Okay. That moved over there. Okay. Great. Nice. Okay. So that should be... Should be space for the mold machine. Lovely. What if the entire factory becomes infected with mold? Will a health and safety inspector come in and shut me down? I guess that's a valid question. Same with mice, right? Will the mice just ever go away? Who knows? Alright, it says 1% of the factory is infected with mold. I'm sure that, that that must have been more than 1%. It certainly looked like more than 1%. Absolutely. Okay, let's get rid of these pitchforks now. Sure, ship them away. See if there's any more contracts that we can take on. I mean, taking on another bros and biceps contract, honestly? Yes, please. I would um, I would very much value the opportunity to do just that. All right, but everything, everything is feeling good. Everything is feeling fine. Nothing feels too out of place at the moment. How are we getting on over here? To be honest, this is a great opportunity to get some more circular saws. 
There we go. Two more. Six grand. That will really, really help out. And it should just mean that we're able to get through whatever whatever wood chopping needs to be done, really. Right. Get those delivered. Great. Look at this. Look at this. This is all working. It's working fantastically. Although, it's not working as fantastically as it should be. Get that disassembled and get a arcade cabinet in here. Arcade cabinet is just like straight up better on every level. And I'm very happy to very happy to buy them, honestly. Every single room should have an arcade cabinet as far as I'm concerned. I guess that's what we're kind of heading to. Late game arcade cabinets. I like it. All right, get that repaired as well. Okay, we still have a lot of video game controllers to make. But that's okay. Office table. We are doing fine on the office table fronts. And it looks like we're even able to make some video game consoles whilst we're waiting. Oh boy, I mean, we are... We are doing... We are doing... I mean, we've got a lot of storage here, but... Unbelievably, we're still not able to... Oh, that's not big enough. Okay. Let me crank that up a little bit. Crank that up a little bit. And crank that up a little bit. I believe that the... The zones only slow people down if they... If they, if they are filled. So if there's something in them. But as long as there's something that's moved out of them, they should be totally fine. Yeah, as you can see by the the red, the red highlighted uh, the red highlighted areas show where it's slower for my dudes to walk. That's fine, All right? We got a couple of people that are free, not currently occupied. Uh, that can be ditched. That absolutely no reason to have that. This I guess this could be a little bit longer. Would that allow the skis to be manufactured and put into this area? There we go. There we go. Okay, that's good. That's good. That's that's looking that's looking a heck of a lot better. Oh, I see what the issue is. Is that you were you were actually putting the skis that were were just pressed there. Okay, that's cool. We can do that. That'll be fine. I hear a crackling. Let's get that repaired. Okay, video games I think are almost about to start bursting into into life. I think we're almost ready to start to start building the final final video game consoles, and then we can get them shipped off as well. Fantastic. Uh, we do have a couple of people that are free, which does irk me a touch. Um, hmm. I need something plasticky. Again, maybe we just make more video game consoles, honestly. Uh, you know what? How many can the market support? Ugh, loads. Loads. I don't even know why I'm worried. Let's order way more. Let's order way more, and it gives gives people in the plastic area something to something to do. Speaking of plastic area, let's use this as an opportunity to get some more uh, some more injection presses. That's right. Technically, we will be we will be getting a better injection press machine at some point uh, with the clonk press. But that's not going to be for a little while yet. And to be honest, there's nothing stopping us from using the injection presses at the same time as using the clonk press. Yeah. And maybe maybe that is what we're going to do. I don't know. Yeah, lots and lots of console chassis and, uh, and gamepad bits to, to get processing. So let's get all of that done. Grand... Coffees, teas and coffees, I think we're doing fine for it. Nobody's collapsed yet, which is, I mean, a great sign. It means that things things are not going too badly wrong if, you're, if your employees are managing to stay awake at work and, you know, just work through the pain. Work through the pain of the day by, uh, by having copious amounts of coffee and tea from the vending machines. I certainly hope that I, in future updates, will be able to charge our employees for the coffee and tea that they consume. Why? Because, I mean, I want the money. That's why. It's literally that simple. 
Okay, get all of this stuff moved out. The desks are all done. Video games are about to be sold on the open market. Uh, the price is going to increase. I guess there's no point in... There's no point in selling now, right? I guess not. Swikea, very, very close to upgrading. Very, very close to next level. Uh, can I go plan one? We need slightly more... Slightly, slightly more beauty. That is way too expensive. Uh, okay, knock that down in price... Knock that down in price. Give me the highest beauty option. Yeah, something like that. Oh, yeah. Right, you know what? Just start with the second plan. Start with the second plan and go for... Go for the wooden handle. I mean, wooden everything seems pretty reasonable, right? Yeah, this is going to be... This is going to be a tough one, actually. Okay, for that, and that, and that. Okay, that's uh, that's actually not as tough as I thought it would be. Although, that's still a utterly ridiculous amount in material costs. I mean, I feel fine because it's a contract and we know how much we're going to get paid. Uh, I'm also, I also feel fine because we've got all of the required tool stations in abundant numbers. So... I'm not worried, but, I mean, if this was an open market offer, I think that might be, that might be one to reconsider, honestly. Okay. Right. As I say, we're going to hold off until the next market cycle, or maybe even the market cycle subsequent to that market cycle. To sell all of our, all of our game consoles. And maybe we just do console. This is a horrific office table. I don't know how much Swikea think that they can sell that for, but that's, that looks awful. Uh, ooh, some boss armchairs. Yes, I will I will absolutely do that. Um, sure. Order that in. More skis as well. Yep, I think I straight up want to do that as well. Great. Okay, that is maybe a little bit more than this factory can can chew. That is quite a quite a challenging set of circumstances with which we're we're going to need to comply. Uh we need to get this all done. On time, which does kind of worry me. I could always, I could always take the associate delay. Where is it? Uh, yeah, I could take the associate delay functionality, and that would allow me to, you know, stave off the the collection, the collection for a little while longer. Okay. How do I feel about the fact that everyone is manufacturing game consoles right now at a time where we have a whole bunch of contracts that need to get done? I don't actually feel that bad about it, to be honest. I don't actually feel that bad about it at all. I actually think that we might manage to do this. Right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take two more workers on board. Give me two more employees. Now, that might strain... That might strain the system a little bit. Well, hey! Bros and biceps. Fantastic. That might strain the system a little bit. We might not uh, have the appropriate number of teas and coffees. In fact, I'm beginning to think that we might... We might not. I mean, is there any staff room that we can bump up in terms of capability? No, I think all the staff rooms have got all of the... All of the different bits and bobs that they need. Yeah, a bit irritating that, but that's fine. I mean, we can always double up resources in the staff rooms. We do have the space to do that, but I don't really want to do that because you don't get as much bang for your buck. I want to try and keep things relatively streamlined in terms of staff rooms in this uh, in this playthrough in this series. But you never know. That's always that's always an option that is available to us. I mean, this looks good. Everything everything looks fine. We're almost done with all of the circular sawing, which is great. We're pretty much done with all the metal processing as well. So it's mostly just like, what, gluing and welding and stuff? Yeah, mostly gluing and welding. In fact, there's a lot of, there's a lot of gluing to be done on the office table contract. But if we're ahead in, if we're ahead in the game, ahead of the game in terms of the office contract, uh, the office, uh, the office table contract, then that's fine. I guess the sewing station is going to be another pretty busy, pretty busy station. Uh, the bending machine, the bending machine is Definitely going to be busy. In fact, you know what? Maybe we get another bending machine. 
Hmm. Right, billboard. Billboard, let's get this billboard moved into the center of the room, because why not? That's being repaired. Let's get a, another bending machine. There we go. Just one for now, I think. What do you want? Oh, stop it. I don't want your garden gnomes. Do I? If I say not now, do I get the contract? I still get the contract. Okay. That's cool. I've never clicked the not now button before. Fun fact for you there. Right. Get this metal bent. Right. No, I don't need to get it moved. I need to add. That's the queue. That's the queue. And then I need to say that needs to be queued up to that. That needs to get moved over to there. Grand. And then we need to move all of the operations to the dual, to the dual metal bending facility, which is the billboard. Great, wonderful. So that should speed things up dramatically. Should mean that we get through the office table in absolutely no time at all. And it's just the handles, isn't it? Yeah, just the handles that we need to get through. So that'll be fine. The video game is just about ready to be shipped off. Uh, although we don't actually want to ship it off. As I keep reiterating, we want to hold off until the next market cycle. I think that's the best. It's the best option for us. Uh, office table shouldn't take too long to assemble. Boss armchair shouldn't take too long to assemble either. I think that we might need to end up just getting the delay anyway. Yeah, I just, I somehow, I somehow think we're just going to need to get that, uh, that delay. You know what? I need to, I need to build more shelves here. Originally, I was inclined to think that it would be slightly, what? The heck am I doing? It would be slightly better. Oh, I can't do that. That's irritating. Originally, I was thinking it would be slightly better just to have, you know, half half, half of this storage space shelves, half of this storage space empty so that the bigger stuff we can put down, down this end. But I think I've sort of changed my mind. Look at how many cushions we can fit on these shelves just under normal circumstances anyway. Yeah, I feel like that's fine. Okay, get that repaired. All right. Yeah, boss armchair. Boss armchair hasn't really taken off in a way that I would like it to take off. I've only got a day left on that contract. But it will take off. It will take off. Just you wait. Just you wait. It's going to happen. It's going to happen real soon. Real soon. Same with skis. All of the ingredients are pretty much ready, right? Painted skis. Painted skis are almost done. That's wonderful. All of the fittings and the fixtures. That should have been done at the welding station. That's not the welding station. Welding station is over here. Ski bindings are almost done as well. So it's literally just going to come down to the assembly hall. Which is kind of... It's kind of cool. I feel like, uh, you know, this this entire episode has been sort of themed around the general, general assembly in the assembly hall. And so it's going to be cool to see if the assembly hall can pull it off. I'm going to wait until like three hours, three hours before the contract is about to be completed. And then we can make a judgment on whether we need to unlock the associate delay function. I tell you what though, boss armchair looks fine. Skis might just be not fine though. It would be a shame if the skis weren't able to, weren't able to keep up, but I guess that is life. Uh, what was I looking for? I was looking for video game consoles. Okay, the price is just about as high as it can possibly be. Let's deliver 48 of those. And then we'll wait until the next cycle before we sell off the next batch. And that is yet more research points. Okay, great. Well, I'm not going to talk about the research points uh, right now. Obviously, we've got three resource points that we can allocate towards the associate delay function, which we will be doing, probably. Most probably. But we might still be able to pull it off. This would be, this would be a true, a truly great underdog story if we could make this happen. Am I going to be able to make it happen though? That's the real question. How long did I say I was going to wait it, wait for? I, I can't do this. I can't do this. Unless we get the, unless we get the tables. Okay, you know what I need to do? I'll get the delay. Unless we get the office table done, and then I can get the Swike the Swikea truck. You know what? Associates just delay. You know what? That's it's a real shame. It's a real shame. I'm sure my I'm sure my employees could do it, but 
the sad thing is, it's just easier to delay by a day than uh, than to you know face the sort of the face the penalty, face the penalty of not getting any XP because you do all that work and you get the money, which is great, but um, but the XP is what really is what really matters. Okay, so that is all three of those contracts done and dusted. That's that's pretty darn good. I'm really happy with how the assembly room has turned out, to be honest. I still think it needs a single bit more... Single bit more of... Yeah, that. Uh, that's not going to be kept there. Let's extend the other way. Yeah, extend that other way. So we'll keep a little bit free for sort of big stuff like uh, like catapults and whatnot. We'll, we'll definitely make sure that, that there is that there is space right over there. But for now, I think we're going to finish this episode up. We uh, we go into the next episode with two with two points free. We can only unlock the reduced comfort penalty on all stations, but I mean even that might be uh, might be a pretty good bet. I'm really feeling very very happy about where this uh, where this potato production factory is. I like it. It's um. It's looking good. It's feeling groovy. I hope you'll tune into the next episode, ladies and gents. Thanks as ever to my fantastic patrons over at patreon.com forward slash open potato. Uh, yeah, head on over there if you're interested in supporting the channel and uh, helping me meet the costs of, uh, of, of making YouTube videos. Thanks for watching, folks. Bye.